Please welcome Fernando Machado. Guys, you have no idea how honored I am to, uh, to be talking to you today, yeah? So thanks for having me here today. Uh, as a Global Brand VP for Dove uh, in Skin Cleansing and Care, I end up traveling a lot, yeah? And while it can get tedious at times, one of the things I love is the conversations I have along the way. On a recent trip to New York, I had a kind of like a, how can I say, an interesting exchange uh, with the customs officer at the JFK airport. It went somewhat like this. Uh, he said, so, what brings you here? I said, work. Uh, I come here a lot for work. And what do you do? He said. I said, marketing at Unilever. He said, Uni what? Uh, I said, Dove, uh, I work for Dove. In marketing? Yes, marketing. And then he said something that really surprised me. Uh, he said, but why does Dove need marketing? Everyone knows Dove. Um, I laughed at first, uh, even wrote a status update about it. It was a, it was a nervous laugh because I was afraid to lose my job right there. Um, but as I headed to the city, I, keep, I, I couldn't stop thinking like, that's kind of like not such an odd question to ask, you know? Why do we invest so much in advertising when most people already know and buy our products? And I thought about it, and the answer is actually very, really simple. It's really not just about selling stuff, about creating awareness. We want to inspire brand love, yeah? Unilever believes on crafting brands for life, brands that have a purpose. Dove, for instance, has always been about real beauty, about real women. At Dove, we want beauty to be a source of confidence and not anxiety. Unfortunately, though, our research shows that only 4% of women consider themselves to be beautiful. We could not believe, we could not accept that 96% of women would look at themselves in the mirror on a daily basis and see more flaws than beauty. That's why Steve Miles, the big boss at Dove and my partner in crime on this campaign, decided to give a simple and inspiring brief to Ogilvy. Let's make women feel more beautiful. It was that simple. We didn't give a budget. We didn't plan to do any market research whatsoever. We want to act less like advertisers and more like content producers. And we knew early on that we want authenticity to take priority over control. The influx of ideas that we got was simply amazing. But the one that really grabbed our attention came from Ogilvy Sao Paulo in Brazil, and it was called Dove Real Beauty Sketches. It was a simple idea. We want to bring in an FBI-trained sketch artist, yeah, and show the contrast between how women see themselves and how others see them. Let's watch the clip. Hearing people describe themselves, maybe there's something about a feature that they don't really like about themselves. And, and I can sense that you know, they're kind of treading lightly on that. This is a sketch that you helped me create, and that's a sketch that somebody described of you. The second one looks more open, friendly, and happy. Mm -hmm. I should be more grateful of my natural beauty. It impacts the choices and the friends that we make, the jobs we apply for. It impacts everything. That's just a short clip of the whole video. But just watching at that short clip still moves me. In fact, when Steve and I got the people around to watch for the first time the seven minute rough cut, there wasn't a dry eye in the house. Yeah? We knew we had something special. And at, even like in the beginning, we knew that YouTube was our go-to partner to share that with the world. No other platform would offer us the reach and the global audience. So the, the kind of like the choice was like very simple. Yeah? So on April 14, 
we uploaded the video for the first time on the Dove YouTube channel in the US. And almost immediately, we saw reactions all across the globe. It started in Australia, when, a more, when the morning show there picked it up. Then an influential blogger posted about it in Australia. After that, it caught fire. Yeah, we were on Reddit, Mashable, Huffington Post, New York Times, Wall Street Journal, the morning show in the US, the Today Show. You name the show, we were there. We were 14 times on CNN. Yeah? Can you picture that, a campaign for free 14 times on CNN? That was us, yeah? And as we saw the buzz about the campaign grow in PR and social media, so did our views. It became clear that people were engaging with our content, sharing with their friends, sharing with their communities, with their families. They were deeply touched by what they had seen. Some people wrote essays about it. It was unlike anything we had ever seen with a regular TV campaign. By the end of the first day, we realized that through one video upload on YouTube, we had ignited a global conversation about beauty. By the end of day three, we saw the launch of the first of many parodies. Uh, actually, the one I like the, the most is like the first one that was launched, which is like a funny outlook on men's self-esteem that proves to the guys that they are less beautiful than they think. Uh, <laughs> that, video, that video has more than three million views on YouTube. Yeah, the parody, we had parodies of parodies. I never seen anything like that. Um, so and when you see that type, that type of stuff happening, that's when you know you created a cultural phenomenon. But we aren't done yet. On April 19, our team worked their asses off yeah, uh, to create a, what we call the Sketches Headquarters, which was basically a war room. This is a real picture from the Unilever office. Uh, some of these guys are here today. Uh, so we quickly translated the video into 25 different languages and uploaded to more than 45 Dove YouTube channels in less than 24 hours, yeah? When with real time, with like real time data at our fingertips, we also like baked some paid media into the campaign so that we could like boost the exposure into these new markets. And guess what? It worked. After two weeks, we reached 75 million views, yeah? Guys, this is the case that we sent to Khan, yeah? Because today, Dub Sketches is actually the most view online ad in history, yeah, with 165 million views. Yeah, that number is outdated because it gets outdated by the day. Yeah, I don't know if you pay, if you realize, but when you when YouTube show the leaders board, we are the number one on the leaders board because we are the most shared video in the past 365 days. The campaign got 4.5 billion global media impressions. Yeah, which shows to me that digital can indeed trigger global scale. Look, this campaign was never a sure thing, but the risk did pay off. Without the constraints of a 30-second spot, we we're able to tell an authentic and inspiring story. And the best part is, because many of the viewers ended up subscribing to our channel, our conversation about real beauty continues even today. Look, we've learned a lot uh, on this process, and the three things I would like to leave with you are, first, as you know, it always starts with great creative, yeah? And I think that the trigger for the great creative here was that we had a brand, we have a brand that has such a beautiful and clear purpose, yeah? And we were able to tap into like such a powerful human truth uh, on the brief, yeah? And execute in a very authentic way. Do you know why it's authentic and why it look, looks real? Because it was real. We had no idea if it would work when we shot it, yeah? Second, we just didn't put the thing on YouTube and wait for some sort of magic to happen. Since the beginning, we had strategic PR like behind the campaign, and when we roll out especially, we kind of like use some clever paid media to increase the exposure of the campaign. And third, we were nimble, yeah? We acted very quickly. We broke every single rule on your liver book on how to deploy campaigns. I'm very proud of that, by the way. Uh, and, uh, and we were able to ride the wave of interest and scale the campaign globally. As a marketer, you always hope that you know when you move the needle. And in this case, thanks to the great parties that we had on YouTube, to Ogilvy, Edelman, Mavens, The Audience, PhD, and so many other partner agents that worked on this, I'm proud to say that I know, yeah, I know we made women all around the world to rethink their own beauty. And that's a moment I'll be proud of the rest of my career. Thank you, guys.